This is the final part of my project to install a solderless touchscreen kit on my Acer Aspire 1. Um, at this point everything has been installed and I actually booted up once before this to make sure it was working but I didn't have enough room on the part 2 video to include that so and it would have been redundant here since I had to fire it up to install the drivers. I don't have an external DVD drive for my for my netbook so I just ripped the installation disk to my uh, home server and grabbed it off the network. So this is the driver install. Um, I have the XP version, so but they had they had um, s several different versions for depending on what OS you have. I can't remember what that thing was right there that I clicked on. Um, it had something to do with um, enabling a, a PS2 driver or something, but then when I clicked next, I got a message saying that this may disable something or other. Actually, it was hard to concentrate at this point because my kids had just gotten home and they were screaming in the background and I really wanted to get this installed. So what I did was I went back, unchecked that option, and then went forward. So now it's installing and um, there is the configuration window that just popped up. This is the calibration screen. I was a huge dork at first and kept tapping the little button not realizing that I was supposed to like tap and hold or press and hold so it, it took me like 10 seconds before I figured that out but once I did figure it out um, it basically just flashes a little X on each corner of the screen and this this first one actually didn't go right for me aside from like tapping initially that last button there it, it wouldn't register and you'll see in a second it just like stops by itself and I'm back at the configuration dialog so what I did was I went to settings and I started the process again I think there's a four point and a nine point this is a four point calibration and everything worked perfect this time and then I decided to do the nine point one as well I don't know if I needed to do that but I did. I also can't describe how incredibly satisfying it was to like even have this working first thing out of the box because I was so worried that with as much as I had bent the <coughs> the cable, um, the ribbon cable coming out the bottom of the touch panel that I would have broken something. But it's working great. I, I was especially impressed with um, how sensitive it was. I, I thought I would have to press really hard or double tap really hard or drag really hard, but it's it's actually pretty se sensitive. And the stylus that came with the kit is great. It's one of those multi multi-function styluses, so it's it can act as a stylus or a regular pen. The other thing too I noticed was I remember reading reviews that people um, said that they noticed like a degraded. Um, viewing experience but I didn't I thought it looked just as I mean obviously it's a little bit darker I think it's supposed to be 15 percent darker but I, I just really don't notice it I don't notice any spots or I was really anal though about cleaning my screen before um, I installed before I positioned the touch panel just playing around here <clears throat> it was especially nice um, browsing because what I did, oh, by the way, what I did just now was I turned off the beeping because <laughs> before it would beep every time it came in contact with the screen, which was really annoying. So I turned that off. Um, so with my thumb, this is really comfortable, and I've been using this for like the last 24 hours, was using the stylus with my left hand and then my right hand thumb to scroll when I'm browsing. And it's really convenient. It's not as easy to use your fingertip um, on like small points if you have, if you're a big manly hands or something I think you, you might have problems Though my husband can scroll like I'm doing right there I'm using my finger now um, but he's got big fat like monkey paws and he could still do it so that's good but he couldn't do the links every time he tried to like tap a link with his finger he would end up selecting text because I think it was out of range so ultimately this is this was a really really great mod and I'm really glad that I did it um, I think it's going to make using my netbook much more enjoyable. It's also going to be really great for reading ebooks with the Moby Pocket Reader because when I position the screen, rotate the screen counterclockwise, now I can just use my thumb to turn the page.